What's up guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever it is for you. I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back to another vlog. Gonna be heading out the door in five minutes to go off to work today. Got two stores left to do. Gonna try to knock these out as quick as possible so we can get back. Have a little bit of time to just sit and relax and then head off to church tonight. We got 5.30 mass and then light team today is part three of the Controversial Jesus series. It's gonna be absolutely amazing I cannot wait for tonight to see what's in tail there's a lot of stuff that I still don't know about because there was a few things that didn't get planned like with life team meetings we plan a majority of them on Monday nights but then during the week what doesn't get planned like let's say a game or the food gets planned during the week with other people to come in and help do that I usually don't do that unless they ask me to other than that it should be fun to find out all the little surprises but let's get going with today let's put a smile on our face if you don't have one already let's start over if you're not having a great day it's gonna be awesome it's beautiful it's sunny outside that's all that matters thought I was gonna need to wear a jacket out here today because I woke up this morning and the inside of my house was just like absolutely freezing for no reason it's always like that in the morning especially in the fall when it was cold overnight but it's just gorgeous out here perfect temperature not too hot not too cold just right a little bit of Sun some clouds some blue sky I just love it this is the perfect fall weather right now. I leave this open Feel the way I want to fall down in this ocean Need you to believe I belong And I apologize if I forget you along the road I got a lot going for me right now It's time to move on, it's time to move on Sleepless in a hotel room do not just a few hours later and we are done with work. It is almost 4.30 in the afternoon. We're gonna head home, take care of what we have to, and then head over to the church. Just made it back home, had to run inside real quick and put my earrings on because I forgot to put them on before I left the house this morning. I noticed something different. I was like, I don't feel right. They're not in my ears. <laughs> Didn't have time to stop for lunch either, so gonna eat last night's leftovers on the way down to the church and then go to mass, obviously, and then life team. Just got over to the church. Church, absolutely beautiful out here right now. Gonna head in for mass. I want to run in and see if they have the crosses still available for Eucharistic ministers because I've only done it ever once and it's been like almost a month since the last time I've done that. So kind of want to do it again today. like that they finally did this. These used to actually be in the parish offices and they brought all of the pictures of all the... <laughs> She's excited. Our pastor before that. The only thing that really annoys me is obviously they're a little uneven, but I can live with that. They're all out of chronological order, like... <laughs> That was our pa last pastor. That was the first pastor ever. That was the pastor before him. So it's just like, someone needs to get something fixed here. And then here's a picture of the original church, which is awesome, but it's a little OCD moment. Just getting out of life, Tina, right now. Awesome night. I didn't film really anything. Obviously, that clip, I just did that actually right there when I was leaving because there, the game tonight was actually a would you rather with life team core team members, and I probably should have gave camera to my sister. What's that? Right here? Okay. I probably should have gave the camera to my sister, and I didn't. That was my fault, but absolutely amazing night. Just made it back home, about to throw my dinner into the microwave to heat it up so that way I can sit down and enjoy this, but it looks absolutely amazing. Got a barbecued pork chop here, got some corn that I'm going to add some butter to, mashed potatoes, and a Pillsbury biscuit. You clench your fist, she gives you a hug, tell you she loves you, but you've been drinking too much, but you don't quit, instead you rather fuss, than take it to the point to where she can't get up, and it makes you feel sick, it breaks your heart, cause you never meant for it to go this far, but you gotta get who has to live with the scars. Another day, another late vlog. I really want to stop this from happening, but it could not be helped today. Went to go proof watch the vlog so I could get it all uploaded before I went to work. Did not save to my computer again. I've really got to figure out what is going on with that situation. So I had to re-render while I was at work. Didn't have time between work and church with Life Teen. So just had to wait till I got home. Finally got the video up. If you want to find out what actually happened, click the link in the description below. It's actually pretty funny. Well, not the 
night I was expecting, especially with the vlog. My plan was to come home and film a crap ton more and fill you in on a bunch of stuff and do some work for YouTube and Facebook and really lay out a plan for the next couple of months on both of those platforms and none of that happened whatsoever. I instead came home, ate dinner, watched a little TV, watched a little YouTube and fell asleep for about 45 minutes. Oh, also uploaded the vlog as well. So, I mean, yeah, I did get some YouTube work done, but I was worn out after today and it, the plans just went all to waste. That's the problem with going to bed at 4 a.m. By the time you do everything that you have planned in a day like today, I had work and church and life team, you're done by like 9.30 at night and you want to just conk out. Tip of the day here, a little life tip, have a good sleeping schedule. Don't, don't be me and go to bed at 4 a.m. when you've got a very busy day ahead of yourself. Try to have a schedule that's going to work for you any single day of the week so you can get up at a decent time, you can have enough time to relax in the morning, eat a little bit of breakfast, and then go out and do whatever you got to do. Like, let's take, for example, if I had a big film project to go on, and I had to get up at 5 a.m., and I had to be to the place by 6, 6.30, it's going to take me a half hour to get ready, half hour to drive there, possibly stop and get some breakfast or whatever. Going to bed at 4 a.m. is not going to help. Only going to have an hour of sleep, and by the time I even get to the project, I'm going to be dragging my butt. No matter if I'm dragging my butt at the end of the day, if it's like an eight to nine hour shoot, no, literally from minute one, hour one, I'm gonna be dragging and that does not work. No matter what it is that you do in your life, having a good sleep schedule really is the beginning of putting in the work for the day into your passion because you gotta have the energy to be able to put the work in to what you really love to do. There's a lot of days where I don't want to start filming a vlog until 3, 4 o'clock, sometimes now 5, 5.30 because I'm so tired and I want to sleep another hour because I am stupid and go to bed at 4 a.m. I would love to get up, start filming at like 9 in the morning and have like a crazy fun-filled adventure vlog and just do all these crazy projects and all this work. Bottom line here, have a good sleep schedule, go to bed at a certain time that's going to allow you to get the required eight hours of sleep and have an even better day and really get that grindstone running with enough sleep. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what that was just about. I, I get really excessive with the clapping. But I want to welcome any brand new viewers that are here right now. I really love it that you found my videos. I really love it that you're watching the end. I really love it that people that have been here all along are still watching up to this point. If you enjoyed this and you so desire to, slap a like on it. Don't forget to turn post notifications on down below so that way you never miss when I upload a brand new video to this channel. Also while you're down there, if you have not already and I do not understand why you haven't, click that big red subscribe button so that way you get subscribed to all of the awesomeness that MJC Vlogs is. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another brand new a daily vlog. Remember to stay awesome, keep smiling, you're beautiful, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, YouTube. I think I'm falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side. Falling for my side.